Hello everybody, welcome back to Excalibur's Vanilla Adventures. It's uh, about midday, and uh, I logged in, I didn't realize what was going on, blah 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 blah, and look what I found. I am on the snapshot. Uh, let me see here, F3 I think it is. Minecraft 15W31C, which means there are a bunch of updates and everything. Uh, that includes the new end, and... Uh, new arrows and all that other fun stuff and one of them is this pow look at that I now have dual wielding pow and I can do stuff like this now this really does nothing because well that does nothing so let's go here G um, so what you do is you have it like torches and your pickaxe and you can do your pickaxe things and then throw down torches that kind of fun stuff um, go ahead I would suggest checking with uh, um, the Suma or Doc M or Mumbo or Ijevan or any of the hermits and um, mine crackers they will be able to tell you exactly what changed and what hasn't um, just know that that extra offhand is for right click things only you can't do left clicking and that's about the extent of it Pow. what was I going to do yeah I was gonna take a look and see exactly what resources I had and I think I pulled all the bricks and stone and everything out yeah I think so let's take a look down here and see if I have anything that smelted up no Hmm. Let me grab one of these. It would be very handy if Mojang added um, wheel support to this. That would be awesome. It's gold, iron, snow. Just making sure. Just making sure. It's all ore. Yeah, it looks like I got it all. Check our chickens almost two stacks of chicken if I had this running all the time like on a server then we would have a bunch more chickens let me tell you what come to me my brown and white pretties let's get you all fed up and fat and baby making machines we need the food we need the skin we need to put your face on my chest so that I can be protected from things that want to eat me alrighty and it looks like we've got everyone nope I'm not going to kill you yet and there's a lone cow that's not getting any love some of you are gonna die some of you aren't. Let's hope you don't drown. Alright, it's getting close to darkness again. So we're going to come up here and uh, do some sleepage. I'm going to check the chests that are in there. I just want to see what all resources we have. And it may be that I have to go down the mines and do a lot more mining. We will have to see. We will have to see. Let's put that back up there. There we go. Um, anything else we need out here? No, nothing at all. We have some more chests we can check. Pow. First we're going to look in here. Where I put a bunch of dirt and snow and junk. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And we have more ores. We're going to be doing some enchanting here soon. All right. That goes to Deneza. Um, some good news, and this is all just wood. So let's see what chest, what we have in the chest up here, and I'll show you the, the bit of progress that I've got going. I decided to use the the farms more because other well, farms, and uh, we can use the resources that we pull out of that. But for now. Um, it's gonna stay so anyway um, 
we did this last time and did some experimenting there blah 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 I went through and I went and put the perimeter on this thing and uh, it's looking pretty sweet I think okay yeah we've got a lot of resources here let's get the polished diorite set up here do a stock count see what we have we've got stone and let's just take the shovel and do that and we've got a lot of granite that hasn't been turned into polished granite yet here's our polished granite here's what andesite we have we have some cracked stone some andesite that hasn't been converted so let's get these shovels up out of the way here like so I need it for digging purposes all right now um, some good news and some bad news well the good news is this I have found a thing a uh, piece of software called hitfilm and what does hitfilm do well hitfilm is a wondrous little application that allows me to re to uh, put out 1080 by 640 recordings uh, dear, pff, 1080 1080p I don't know what planet I was just on it was not earth I can tell you that much so it's 1080p recording and uh, that's 60 frames per second and I did some experiments and tests and yes it works very well and we will be doing a lot of recording um, at that higher resolution soon because I really want to get into the higher quality junk like that um, it does not do screen capture but there are other programs that do it um, just as well if not better and that's what I'm going to bank on ooh is that gravel yeah it's gravel so we'll do this and we'll throw the gravel here put that up here um, anyway I will be doing a 1080 P 60 frames per second very very soon and hopefully everybody will enjoy that and be happy with it now that's what I was gonna do with this okay we need to make a cactus farm and this is gonna be easy enough to do we don't need much uh, just uh, the hoppers, the cactus, and glass. In my Feed the Beast series, do I have a shovel on me? No, let's grab one of those shovels. Pow. Um, there we go. In uh, my Feed the Beast series, I have an automated cactus farm, and it is going to churn out cactus quite a bit. This, however, is going to be quite a bit different. There we go. We can just do that. And throw it on the sand now I actually need more than five hoppers uh, but I'll, I'll show you what pretty much goes on so we go through here two three four and five we'll just do the full eight that's fine now we could do something different um, and then get rid of these for the chest which we need and we do have a this so one two three four five six seven eight that should give us 32 which will give us eight chests or four chests um I am so scatterbrained this morning I apologize I apologize I apologize what we're going to be doing is setting up a collection system for our cactus we need three more so we need one more chest and we're gonna need another hopper every time I say hopper I think of bugs life I don't think we have any hoppers here no I we'll have to go down here those chickens are so darn loud do I have any no nope, we have to come in here and grab one 
15. Um, we need a, a collection system. So we're going to do that. We're going to create ourselves an automatic, uh, a way to automatically collect this. And let's make um, one, two, three, and four. Just a stack of glass panes because that's how I roll. I uh, want to get the cactus green for doing some uh, dyes and stuff like that. Uh, some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful green dye. Um, it's already there. Pow, pow, and pow. Now, all we have to do is put this right there. And let's build up our exterior. This is going to be ugly. And I'm fine with it being ugly. Are you okay with it being ugly? Let's hope so. And we need some slabs or some stairs. So let's make some stairs. Like so. And yes, we will eat. Hang on. That almost looked like a roof over there. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put this stair right here. Upside down. There we go. And we need to get this set up. I want to have windows. So what we'll do is this. And um, we've got four more left. Let's go ahead and put three there. And one there. Sure. And we will put in glass like so. Now we need an empty space right above our cactus for it to grow and the unfortunate thing is we also need a way to trim it off so I'm just gonna put these four all the way around like so done 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 and oh yeah one of the things that's new with the snapshot you have you can make glass pillars interesting huh All right, now that we have that all set up, whenever this cactus grows, and uh, let's not use that, let's just use a piece of dirt, like so. Whenever this cactus grows, it's going to try and go up here, because that's an air block. It's going to realize, hey, I can't do anything here. Now, unfortunately, with the way things are, the cactus is going to go up and we need to actually get rid of those so we need signs because signs I think signs will work we'll have to see get some stick and do this signs signs everywhere the signs there we go I think signs work. We'll have to find out. And I, uh, I'm just going to do this. We're going to make a bunch of stairs. And some slab. And we'll finish up the stairs here. And uh, why am I doing that? I'm going to put a roof on this thing. And it's almost nighttime already. Yeesh. So what we're going to see is this guy is going to want to grow up. So let's go ahead and put those signs in there. I think signs will work. We'll just do it like this. Oh, we don't need that one there. Oh. There we go. We'll go inside and sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. I wonder, ah oh man, I have to go all the way inside. There we go. Now, I think signs will work. We'll find out soon enough. Um, 
what's going to happen is uh, the cactus is going to try and grow. It's going to see that um, it can grow. It grows. And then it goes, um, oh, wait a second. I've got something that um, besides air all next to me. So I am not going to be able to do anything. That's pretty much what the gist of it is. And uh, that's what I'm hoping will happen. What we're going to do is this here. All around the top. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, I know, I know, it's all spruce, but that's the main source of wood that I have here. There we go, and I think we can go up one more, so let's go ahead and clip this guy down. there. Yeah, that's right. It's a stock standard roof. Nothing big, nothing different here at all. There we go. Oopsie. There we go. Well, at least it's stock standard for me, because I always put the uh, the junk on it like this. The junk. I always put an overhang on the ends. Always. And my personal style is... I guess Corrales does this, too. Um, I'm going to be putting on, like, the little dragon head thing at the edge. You'll see it in a second. Just as soon as I get this stuff put on... Well, maybe not just Corrales, but he's the one I see do it the most. There we go. Putting on the roof. Putting on the roof. Now when you get here, put a... Well, not like that. put that out wrong. Maybe I has to go like this. Maybe I'm overthinking it. There we go. Uh, put this here. Put this here. Get rid of that. Put it up here like so. Upside down. Yeah, that's how I like it. So right there, and right there. Let's look in here. I'll see it growing. We'll have to see what happens. And uh, I can't just leave it, so let's go get that. put on here we need to get rid of this and this put this guy right there um, how the heck did I do that it's an upside down stair that's why a regular stair going this way so you go like that There we go. I'm 
Now, hopefully, this would grow. If not, then okay, that didn't grow. And we'll see how well it works. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely right. And we can make this a little bit nicer. If we do that and put some glass right there. So we can see inside there. Alrighty. Anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, it's called HitFilm. I've got the Express version. We're going to see how that works for us. And we will... Um, we being I, of course, we will see what we can do to make sure that we can get everything set up and running well. I'm going to be doing a lot of... Oh, boy. Um, first off, let me double check. I think these pillars are three total. One, two, three, and stair. Okay. Um, I will be able to, to uh, get a lot of stuff taken care of. And by a lot of stuff, uh, I mean... I'm going to be redoing my intros and stuff for my videos. And I'm getting email. Wow. In Hitbox to see how well it works. There we go. I can just do that. As opposed to Camtasia and Movie Maker and stuff like that. It is a non-linear editor, which means that uh, it has multiple tracks. In HitFilm, it is actually called Layers, and that is perfectly fine with me. It's uh, very Photoshoppy, very paint programmy, and I think we should have a really nice time getting things running with that. There we go. The unfortunate thing is it doesn't do any screen capture and like I said before you can uh, look at other stuff if uh, look at other programs that is like uh, Jing uh, I really don't want to use Jing but if if I have to that is a possibility there we go um, can still use Camtasia but I think Camtasia is best left there we go whoo that's all of this level here Camtasia is best left for other things and uh, I really don't want to deal with getting uh, the pro version of Camtasia um, I will be working on getting the pro version of hit film because it comes with a, a bunch more th stuff um, and it's used by professional indie film makers and stuff like that I think it will be perfectly fine for what I need um, if it's good enough for an indie film producer, indie filmers, whatever you want to call them then it's indie cinematographers there we go if it's good enough for them it will be more than good enough for me um, I probably will not use 99.9% .9 of the functionality which is why I went and got uh, the express version and the express version is free 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 as a matter of fact I am probably going to be releasing this in 1080p 60 we'll see if it works just want to double check to see if there are any torches in there. There are not. We can get some wood over here anyway. Like a spazow. And then we're going to get a stack of coal and make four stacks of... Or stack of charcoal. Yeah, a stack of charcoal. And we'll make four stacks of torches we're gonna need them so there we go 
And there we go. And this will be the stick one. Let's go ahead and put all the sticks up there. And grab us a stick. There we go. And we'll put wood up here. So that is the main plan. Yes, indeed. And it's getting close to sleepy time again. So let's go up and get in the bed up here. Um, so we will be looking first and foremost at getting the 1080 by 60, 1080p, 60 frames per second stuff going. And there we go. We'll sleep. <clears throat> Now, one of the things that uh, I need to consider here is how we're going to handle each of the floors. Oh, dang, Anderman came out of nowhere and caused me to have a coronary. Oh my god. That really, <laughs> it, it actually did spook me. Let's put these back up there and grab ourselves a stack of each of these. Well, I'll say three of each. And we'll go ahead and put these up there. There we go. We're going to need a way in and out, so I'm just going to go ahead and take these two guys. Now, these go up full eight. Um, so this will probably be the first 1080p 60 frame per second video I put out. I'm going to have to think about it because I have limited time today. It is a Sunday and I will be going gaming soon. So let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, this is the, the crappy part. Actually, that that's a lot easier. And uh, this is part of the whole improve my game, my, my YouTube content, improve it. So using the new software, I think we will have a lot better um, YouTube content anyway. Presence is a whole nother thing. We have to see what people think about the whole Excalibur Zone channel. Spread the word if you could, that would be awesome. As they would say else in, in places that say awesome like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. And spread that word like a wildfire. Because uh, the more views, the more followers I get, the more my stuff will show up, and the happier I will be anyway. Whether you guys are happy or not depends on whether you like my content. Because the happier I am, the more content I'm going to put out. Now, in terms of uh, the content that I'm going to be doing, we are definitely looking at some new Minecraft content involving uh, Jaeger Fox and Davor and myself. Uh, schedules have to be uh, arranged and uh, I am not sure if Davor and Jaeger can actually partake. I know um, Davor really wants to play games. So uh, what's probably going to happen with Davor and I, we will be looking at Oop, there we go doing some games like Crusader Kings. I th think that's going to be the main deal right there, is uh, Crusader Kings. And then there's the Minecraft series. I am still going to hold that quiet. Oh no. 
Now we can just break through this one. There we go. That's what I get for not sneaking, right? Anyway. What the heck? Well, that might be a glitch. Can't eat, and you right click, and that keeps happening. So, maybe Dinner Bone missed something here. Anyway, and there's our first stack gone. Um. We're looking at doing some Minecraft similar to the way it was done back in the day. Now, what does that mean overall? It means that... Oh, what am I doing? Let's put these back. And uh, put a door here. And I mean a literal door. Oh, so, there's the first. Except for the farms. I'm going to have to pull those down, aren't I? Really didn't want to do that. No, it's only six. There we go. Back in the day with uh, Minecraft, when you really wanted... Won't work unless I do this. There we go. I wish there was a sound when you placed doors and junk. That'd be so much better. Um, back in the day, before multiplayer was really a thing, uh, you would pass a world back and forth and uh, find the the stuff that the ancients had put in, you know, uh, ruins and, um, let's see here, let's put that back up there and grab that many? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you'd have ancient ruins and junk like that, and that's pretty much what people had built. Yep. What your friends had built. So you'd pass the world back and forth between yourselves and have a grand old time. And then, then they came out with multiplayer, and that was a bit better, because everybody could play at the same time instead of having to pass the world back and forth. Well, what I plan on doing with Davor and um, Jaeger is passing a world back and forth. Only this is... We're, we're not going to pass the world back and forth per se... What we're going to do is create a hardcore world. It's going to be single player. And this hardcore world is going to um, be a challenge. We're going to have to uh, collect certain things, you know, like uh, half a stack of diamond blocks or, you know, stuff like that. Something that's obtainable. Um, a sheep farm, a chicken farm, or whatnot. We will be recording our exploits and all that. Davor has to work on some uh, recording issues he has. Why am I putting him here? Yeah, well, we'll get these put here, and then we'll take care of the ones down below. And uh, we're going to see who can survive the longest, and if everybody survives, who can complete as many goals as possible. It's going to be hardcore, so when you die, you die. You can't go back and respawn or anything like that. And then uh, their series will end. I tried this before with a group of friends, and one of them was poo-pooing on just about every single thing we did, so we canceled that hardcore challenge. And it was a sad thing. Some people just aren't meant to... Uh, play games that way because it was too grindy for them I guess it um, his excuse was oh well, there we go this works perfectly fine Oop, don't want to fall down so hopefully Davor Jaeger and I can do it 
and uh, the way it's probably going to work is one of us, probably me, will be creating a world and then passing it on. So everybody has the same world. Before we used the same seed and people didn't understand capitalization, didn't know O's and zeros were different, you know, that kind of thing. And they didn't understand why there was a big snowy biome and all that junk, blah, 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 blah. That's how it works sometimes. We'll come back and we'll do this part later. So that is my plan. That is hopefully how we will do this all. So we've got this, then this, then that. Okay. So it goes this, this, that, and then over one like this then they all go like that. So if uh, we can actually do what I want to do, you can see three different points of view of the same exact map. And uh, I hope it will be fun. All right, so let's jump down into this water and miss it entirely. I'm going to sleep through the night and call this an episode. I will be putting on the stairs off camera, and we will be looking at how to design this first floor because we need to do the item museum, and I think having the first floor set up to do that would be ideal. So we're probably going to have pillars. Let's say we go from the corner, we'll go in one two three four so that we'll have three wide halls like this and then we'll have an item frame here with torches on top so one two three and what we will do is alternated so this entire outside will be granite this entire inside will be diorite and then we will have one two three right here is where we will have our um andesite do we have any andesite in there i thought i had some yep andesite come to papa there we go So, get this diorite, and one, two, three, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, there we go. So we'll have uh, <laughs> all the different types, and then maybe uh, as we get further, we have uh, stone brick and then we'll have um, cobblestone and then stone. We will be changing up the floor whether we use carpet or some other flooring is uh, we'll have to find out. We'll have to decide that. And I think overall it will look pretty cool. Um, I may even do something fancy like this and uh, cut off the sections and put walls in and stuff like that so that we can cut down on the lag that all those uh, item frames are going to cover and we will see how that works this might just be walls with doors every once in a while rather than pillars and these will be these will mark where we put our item frames anyway we'll have some sort of wall maybe wood maybe brick maybe stone I don't know we'll have to see and then uh, we're gonna go up to the ceiling which will be three high because that right there is the floor level of nope uh, the floor level is one more above that so <sighs> so much to think about so much to do um, a lot of this is being planned um, on the fly because I did not plan on doing a lot of this there we go. We'll grab these torches. Grab these torches. And we're going to plop a torch down 
like that for now because what we can do is uh, if we put down carpet everywhere we can actually put glowstone or pumpkins underneath and that will provide light up through the carpet so we won't have to worry about torching up everywhere you know there we go and there we go and we will have a nice brightly lit place now this will be the uh, museum level we might have to have two depending on if my calculations are incorrect um, we might have to have two levels where we have or more where we have all of our um, item frames and everything but we need to have some sort of living quarters which I think going down below would be fun for the living quarters because I am actually tired of going up but that does not mean we can't come up here and on this level have buildings on the outside of the wall and then we live in those buildings we have to see what's going on with all that and we also need to figure out where we're gonna put all of our farm did did this all grow while we were this is all grown this is grown it's not fully grown yet so we can actually wait on that that's not fully grown either yep not fully grown this is this is nope nope okay so we have some time on that oh boy lots to do lots to do we've got a wall we're probably gonna take this part of the wall down and bring it over that way and follow along here and attach it over to that corner we're going to put in water features and stuff like that as well and I think we're doing pretty pretty well here I also want to come along here and put a torch up on each of these pillars so that we have light up here and keep mobs from spawning the more light we have the happier we will be because we can have up or two there I don't care we will have nice uh, bright areas so we can work at night and everything and don't have to worry about running uh, from monsters at, at night anymore one two and I didn't bring any more oh well oh well that's how oh, I can actually take these I think I hear little piglins we got five from that so we can at least do some of this here okay so let's get up here take a look what we got we've we've got our cactus doohickey over here we can go and see if it's done anything um, if it's grown then we will know that signs don't cause it to pop off but uh it does have a hitbox there it does have that and it works it works now what's gonna happen is sometimes that'll pop off and land on itself and destroy itself it's not 100% efficient but a lot of times it will land on the hoppers and then come out to here we can actually enlarge this and put out more and more and more and more and more but uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now we're just gonna worry about building and getting this thing ready so I'll finish up this uh, first floor with all that and then when I come back we'll look at lighting options for underneath those stairs and we will also uh, see what we actually want to do for the inside because that's gonna be a lot of space and uh, we want to block off a lot of it so when you're running around you're not rendering a crap done which is gonna cut down on the lag which is what we really want and next time I'm going to have this harvested, we're going to have this corner completed, and uh, we're going to have the farms disassembled and moved elsewhere. Um, I think what I would like to do is put the farms, let's get that eaten, eaten, 
put the farms up on one of these tiers. So what may happen is this floor will actually have farms along the outside. Yep. And we will see just how well that works. Uh, we may have to take some dirt and put it lower under here. Um, but we'll have to have to see. Hmm. Could have made these wider. A lot of a lot of things, but this is gonna this is gonna be good to start. This will be good to start. <sighs> a lot of work to do. Big builds, and this isn't even the largest build that you could ever have. I mean, I could clear out everything underneath this and make this go out even farther. That might be something worthwhile. Mm. So, until next time, enjoy playing games, enjoy playing Minecraft. Please like, comment, and subscribe. What do you think about this ziggurat I'm building? I know it's only got one set of stairs. We could probably put in a total of all four sides and not worry about the, the weird hiccups we have in the, in, uh, the pillars and everything. Hmm, it's a possibility. So, please let me know. What do you think? What do you want to see? Let me know, let me know, let me know. And until next time, Sex Caliber, I am out.